Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we got a lot of stuff done. We went through summer school and we got to fight alongside Takaya, which was really, really interesting because he's sort of more of a villain type character. So getting to fight alongside him was really, really cool. In this episode, Aegis can come with us for a walk with Koromaru, so we're gonna go ahead and experience that. Koromaru-san seems to be enjoying himself. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. <laughs> Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? You seem to be holding something. Onyx. So during these walks where we get to hang out with someone from the dorms, we get an additional item to go along with it. I still haven't figured out how to use the, uh, what's it called, the antique shop. I just forgot to look it up and I still don't know anything about it, but I'm sure that that's great, so thank you very much, Koromaru. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. I'm gonna get try to get as many of Koromaru's like walking scenes as I possibly can because we just get to hang out with a lot of other characters and we just get to get to you know have some fun, have some downtime between missions and stuff like that. Uh, there's a summer festival going on at Naganaki Shrine today. That reminds me, I still have a quest to do there that I haven't done yet. I'll. Work on that tomorrow. Oh. Got a few messages. Got messages from Yuko, Chihiro, Fuka, and Mitsuru Kirijo. Let's read through all of them. It's gonna be a festival at Naginaki Shrine tonight. Let's check on check out all of the stalls together. I can't wait. Hello, it's still so hot every day. Do you know about the festival tonight at Naginaki Shrine? If you were planning to go, I would love to go together. It would make it would be nice to make some last summer memories with you. Please let me know what you think. There's going to be a festival at Naganaki Shrine tonight. I'd love to check it out. Would you like to come with me? Naganaki Shrine is hosting a summer festival tonight. I was planning on taking Igus there to show her around, but I'm not certain it would make a good I would, I'd make a good guide. If it's not too much trouble, would you come along as well? Ah, oh, gosh dang it. You know what? If Yukari were one, one of these options, I would definitely choose her because she's going to be the one that I end up romancing. You know what, Yuko, since I was originally going to romance you before I changed my mind, I guess I'll go with you during the summer festival, during the summer festivals, like a, I don't know, consolation prize sounds really mean. Um, who should I go to the summer festival with? I'm definitely not going to go alone. Let's go with Yuko. I'll head to the shrine when it's time. Oh, look, a yukata. Hmm, maybe I should have worn one too. Don't you think I'd look good in one? I'm sure you would. You think so? <laughs> I guess yukatas really are a must for summer festivals then. Although they are kind of stuffy and hard to move in. They're more inconvenient than most people might think. The last time I wore one was when I was just a child. I remember taking it off right away because it was just too hot. Oh, uh, wait, that was a kimono. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. Hey, are you hungry? Let's eat some takoyaki. I'll split it with you. One order of takoyaki, please. Wait, this takoyaki, is there no octopus in it? That's for you to eat and find out. Hang on a sec. I'll make one for you now. Just don't try to peek at what I'm putting inside. <sighs> Here you go. One order of takoyaki. Here, have some. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. And so tender inside. Mmm. There's something really tough and chewy in the middle. Hmm. I wonder what was in it. 
Look at all the different masks. <laughs> My parents used to buy them for me when I was little. I always got the ones from that superhero TV show. Oh, look, they still have the same ones as back then. Oh, this really brings me back. Hey, you two, want to try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hey, look, a lucky draw. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Let's give it a try. I am a sucker for games like this. The box is filled with triangular lottery tickets. Let's dig down to the bottom. Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. I mean, th there definitely is a Makoto who has incredible luck, but I haven't played that game on this channel yet, so, so I can't really make a funny joke here. Here's your prize, enjoy. That looks pretty expensive. You picked a good ticket. But didn't that guy seem a little upset about it? <laughs> oh, look at the time. Oh, we should start heading back. Thanks. I had a great time today. Let's go to more fun events like this in the future. After seeing Yuko, after seeing Yuko home, I decided to go back to the dorm. I need to remind myself that ultimately, like, it doesn't really matter too much who I romance. I keep getting, like, really attached to these characters, and I'm like, oh, it'd be really cute if the protagonist decided to date, you know, this character, but I'm like, ah, it doesn't really matter. Like, it changes, like, maybe two scenes. We'll be fine, whoever we pick. Today, we're sprucing things up with the summer-only Amazing Commodities Monday special. Even though it's Monday, the programming seems to be rescheduled for summer vacation. I see. Curse paper. It's kind of fitting because right now I'm recording this in late October, so it's kind of funny that we're getting like the spooky stuff. You know what? What the hell, I'll buy it. So we're gonna get into the film festival now, where every day for the next few days, you get to hang out with someone, whether it be someone from the dorm or one of your social links, and you'll just have the opportunity to I uh, just hang out with them, watch a movie, and it, it's it's a whole fun thing. So that's what, I, what I'm going to be doing for the next few days. First of all, I'm going to head to the shrine and make sure I don't forget to do that uh, side quest that I was talking about earlier. Alright, no sign of prayer from here, so I'll have to do that later. Um, and maybe we'll eventually get it. Hi, businessman. I found that website, the one about revenge. I immediately thought about getting revenge on my boss, but I chickened out. I closed the tab right away. Now I'm not even sure if I had the right URL. Let's head back to the dorm, see if I can actually talk to anyone else, but if no one else is there, then we'll hang out with Tomachika for the day and go watch a movie. Greetings. The summer festival was an excellent experience. The rate at which the candied cotton substance expanded exceeded my expectations. I would like to make an expedition to the next summer festival as well. I've been thinking about what to feed Koromaru. We typically give him standard dog food, but do you think we should add some variety? I'd imagine he'd get bored after eating the same meal every every day after all. There's the option of preparing something by hand, but for now I'll simply buy different food. Speaking of Koromaru's meals, sometimes he looks like he wants to eat a beef bowl. But I guess it'd be better to just give him dog food. I know there's some foods that are dangerous to dogs, and it's not like he needs the stuff for his diet, right? Junpei! Uh, Junpei, are you available? Where's your room? Not in his room. Takaiba, are you... Not in her room. Alright. Fine. They're showing a flick I really want to catch. It'll light, a fly It'll light a fire in your heart, man. I already got tickets, so let me know if you want to come by noon. Increase our courage. Uh, it doesn't really help us at all, but just so we could see this scene, then... Hey, dude, let's grab some seats up front. Ah! They're all over the third floor already. Watching the humans fight for survival in that movie made me a little braver. Stay calm. We can't give up now. There's always hope, no matter how damned the world is. Has gone. Oh, man, my hands were sweating like crazy. Everything was so well done. But dude, three movies in a row is way too much. 
Anyway, it's getting dark, so let's bounce. That, that stuff didn't really give us a technical advantage, but my sort of motto whenever it comes to playing Persona games is not to worry about like having the best statistical advantage at every given moment, because these games are a bit more relaxed. I just want to see as much fun stuff and as many extra scenes as possible. So there will sometimes be options where it's like, do you want to hang out with this friend and see the scene, or do you want to go and, you know, up some stats over here and maybe get an advantage? And I always choose to see the extra scenes with the friends because, because this like, because Persona 3 is all about, you know, like making the most of, you know, the time you have, because we only have, like the game mentioned at the beginning, we only have one year to do all of the stuff in this game. So we'll just see as much stuff as we possibly can, not worry too much about, you know, having the best possible strategic advantage at every possible given moment. We're, I just want to have fun with it. It's so hot, I hate this weather. How are you holding up, Yuki-kun? Never better. Hmm? Oh really? Sounds like you're making the most of your summer vacation. Let me try to get my mind off the heat. So the next full moon is in September, right after break. Ah, uh, when I talk about it like that, it sounds like I'm preparing for an exam or something. But anyway, there are only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Oh! Koromaru has a little hangout thing here, not not like going on a walk, but he apparently wants to watch her TV show. Mitsuru also has one, but I'll get to her at some point later. Koromaru is like my main priority right now. Um, um can I help you? Let's talk. Hi. We should follow Yukari-chan's advice and try to finish our summer homework soon. Junpei-kun said he's going to do his all at once later. How are you going to tackle yours, Yuki-kun? Uh, little by little. I've tried in the past with school to like do like a bunch of work all at once. It is not fun at all. I think that's the best strategy to do homework too. That's what I've been doing, so I've gotten most of it out of the way already. Hey, I was thinking, what do you think will happen to us if the dark hour disappears? Uh, we'll go back to normal. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I think too. Those Strega guys said that our Persona's abilities will disappear, so we'll probably just go back to being ordinary high school students. Mitsuru-san took Aige-san to, to the summer festival. I didn't hear anything on the news about it, so no one must have noticed that she's a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. Uh, Junpei, how are you doing? You reading manga up here? Of course you are. All right, Koromaru, let's watch some TV. TV remote is at Koromaru's feet. I wonder if there's a TV program he wants to watch. Academics, that actually helps us out a bit, so absolutely. It's a documentary about a wolf pack. I guess this is what Koromaru wanted to see. Koromaru seems to be mimicking the pack leader. Good impression. Koromaru seems to really like this program. Watching how animals live in the wild helped me improve my academics. The program apparently has more episodes in the series. Maybe I'll watch it with Koromaru again whenever I have the time. Very engaging conversation we were having there. August 18th. So, interesting fact about today. Oh! Crops have grown. That's another interesting thing. Uh, not what I was thinking about, though. So today is August 18th, like I just said, and that means it is the birthday of Reiji Kido from Persona 1. Uh, if we turn on the TV here... Yep, it's Trish. Today's subject is a man in his 20s. Well, Reiji Kido should probably be 30 at this point. Uh, with a sour face. Um, I mean, a handsome salary man. Though he hides it with his hair, the scar on his forehead is still obvious. I wonder what happened. Next next in news is Pain Pain Go Away. So yeah, he became a salary man after the events of Persona 1. I don't have too much to say because like Persona 1 is like the one that I have the least amount of like passion for as a video game. I mean I guess I don't really have any like passion for the dancing spin-offs, but again, those are spin-offs. I'm I'm mainly talking about mainline series here. Yes? What is Your summer your summer break next year will likely be inundated with studying for entr entrance exams, so make sure to use this free time while you still have it. Koromaru looks like he's having fun. 
I guess Mitsuru did get that extra, um, or not extra, but that new sort of dog food. Oh, baby wants to go to the cinema. That is a French movie today. I cannot do a French accent. There's a French movie today. It's good for learning. Do you want to go to the cinema? Let's watch together. I already have tickets. And this also helps with, uh, academics, so... Sweet, we're just on a roll with academics recently. Let's go find our seats. Ah, Monsieur, how have you been? I am finally back. That was a fun movie, and I picked up a little French too. Mon frère, you left three months ago. Where have you been, you bum? Oh, Mont Saint Michel, Versailles. How nostalgic! I haven't seen my own country in quite some time. Well then, let us make our way home. I parted ways with Bebe and went back to the dorm. Oh, and we got our package. Sweet. Welcome back. Summer break will be ending in just under two weeks. Of course, fighting shadows takes priority, but don't forget to dedicate time to studying as well. Oh, everyone's just grouped over here for some reason. What's going on? Uh, first of all, let's talk to Akutsuki. Got a great pun for us? Goromaru isn't just any old dog. He's a key member of C's. Please be mindful of what you're feeding him. I was trying to cook something and kind of messed it up and Korochan happened to be nearby, so I asked him if he wanted a bite. I was just joking, but he ran away so fast. I mean, I know it didn't come out right, but I didn't think it was that bad. I know Korochan didn't mean to hurt Yukari-chan's feelings, but I'm sure she's feeling a little down. I'm not sure what to do in this kind of situation. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying here. Yukitan said that the food she made didn't turn out the way she expected. But even Koromaru ran away from it. How bad does your cooking have to be for that to happen? Hey, Koromaru. Aww. Seems to be apologetic about something. Yeah, he really didn't mean to hurt Yukari's feelings. He just, you know, saw disgusting food and decided to, you know, do what anyone would do. I remember during my Sonic Origins Let's Play, I was really, like, apologetic, I guess, for not really staying on topic and talking about the game, but, you know, sometimes games are just kind of hard to say new things about. For example, with Persona 3 Reload, we're what, like, 50-something episodes into this? Like, but yeah, we're so heavily into this, and we're sort of doing some, some of the same stuff, so it just gets difficult to commentate. So, from now on, I'm just not gonna worry about going off topic and stuff like that. And plus I've seen other Let's Players, you know, just go completely off topic and talk about whatever they want to talk about. So I'm going to start doing that too. I realize I forgot to go to the shrine today. Gosh, diggity dang it. Gosh, I just want to get my academics up and I just don't have a good place to do that. I don't know if I'm forgetting something, but I don't think there's a way for me to up my academics at the moment. So I guess I'm going to hang out with Tanaka today. So he's the Devil Arcana, and we don't have a Devil Persona with us at the moment. So I guess I'm going to the Velvet Room. Also, a little fun fact that I recently learned. I'm pretty sure the voice actor for Igor in this game is the same voice actor, the current voice actor for Shadow the Hedgehog. Which I think is kind of funny. Alright, Tanaka. Appointment. Did you forget? In that case, I'll head on home if you don't show up. Do not reply to this message. Please contact us through the official inquiry portal. Uh, copyrighted Amazing Commodities Corporation. He's talking about, like, for us forgetting about him, which is kind of funny because I haven't talked- I haven't spoken to him once since we started the social link. Oh? Well, if it isn't Yuki. Are you busy at the moment? If not, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. Sure, buddy. My, aren't you enthusiastic? Then let's not waste any more time. My schedule is so terribly packed. I don't usually have time for your average Joe, you know. You should be glad you're such a handsome boy. Alright. Let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. Hmm. The stress is on the middle syllable. Placebo. Very good. You're feigning interest well. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this. A supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. 
Wow. Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? I suppose one could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. <laughs> I received somewhat questionable advice from President Tanaka. I understand him a little better now. Yeah, we are still pretty far behind on this social link, but you know, once we finish up all of our social Have stats, you been keeping your promise, you didn't tell anyone, did you? Then we'll just have nothing to do but these nighttime social links, and then we'll just we'll just fly right through them. If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. We'll definitely do that a little bit later. Before I end off today's video, there's a couple things I want to do. First of all, let's head to the Naganaki Shrine and go ahead and do this. The air around me has shifted. There's an unfamiliar scrap of paper in my pocket. Upon closer inspection, it looks like an old bill. It says 500 yen. It looks like my prayers were answered. I should let Elizabeth know. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Elizabeth about that. And while we're at Polonia Mall, there's another thing I want to do. I want to check this bulletin board, because I haven't really been doing that. This lists all of the missing people. Uh, so for example, uh, Ayako Yoshimoto was the first person we saved, then Kenjiro Susumi, uh, Yoshimi Miyama, Yasuko Murabayashi, and Shuichi Nimura. Uh, Satsuki o Onozuka is the one who's gone missing next. You might be wondering, why are you telling me all of this? Why are you saying all of their names? because there are a couple of names that might pop up here one day that may seem familiar. I don't know exactly when they're going to pop up, but I know that they will pop up at some point. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn this into Elizabeth and then we'll call it a day. Oh, what's this? I sense a strange power emanating from that bill. I thought it would have taken months and years to complete the hundred shrine visits, <laughs> but perhaps it is not the number of visits that matters, but the strength of your wish. Please take this as your reward. Lime Swimwear. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. I guess I'll go ahead and try it on next time we go to Tartarus. Still can't go out with Elizabeth, so for now, we're just going to sign off for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hang out with some more people for the film festival. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.